Well, let me show you what there we got going go. on. Okay. Or you can it's have a better your... mouse trap. Oh, this, we got guitars. Guitar. All right. And they must be ta Taylor guitars, right? We have Taylor guitars right here. We have Taylor. Okay. We have 714. All right. <laughs> we have some, some Gibsons. All right. We have uh, t uh, James Tyler. We have a Fender Stratocaster. Uh -huh. Wow. And um, let me just show you a couple of oh, things. Oh, that must be his baby. This, this is, has been uh, affectionately re renamed the Jagger guitar Aww. because this is Jagger Rooney. And he's about, son. what, nine months now? He's about nine months, uh-huh. And, uh, and then he has a, a good relationship with Gibson, as you can see, with all the Gibsons. I would say so. And they, decide, they basically said, uh, we'll build you any guitar you want. What do you want? And so he had this guitar built. <gasps> and, um, and it's built to his specs with a master volume and a master tone and a kill switch. And it's cut away right here so oh, that wow. uh, you can get up in here and play all the look at me's. Look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> then he gave him a picture of his wife, Tiffany, and they painted her lips on the guitar right there. Sweet. So he's got a little bit of home on yeah. uh, these guitars. <laughs> wow. So. I wish I had lips like that. <laughs> Another Les Paul. This, oh, wait, come on. All right. Let's see how the Les I'm getting it. This one was the uh, the flat dog Les Paul. This is their logo. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And, uh, Sweet. <laughs> these two right here. These are both 1963 Gibson SGs. This is quickly becoming his favorite. Wow. And um, awesome. Awesome. Come on. This one in the studio a lot. Gibson 335. The James Tyler Telecaster. And a Fender Stratocaster. There cool. you go. And let's look at the Bogners. This is the rig. All right. Bogners, and of course, the, yep. we've got a. Basically, what we've got going just okay. hang out on the, the heartbeat on the, of this rig, the center the of the universe, Mecca, if you will. The amp gives me. Ta da! <laughs> oh, that's nice. Wow. <laughs> and how long has that been on the road with you guys now? Ever since I've been here, and that's been two years. So, I've Good been work. here right at two That's years, actually. And uh, so basically, basically what we've got, uh, this is the main amplifier. Um, clean, crunch, and solos. This is an identical, uh, just a backup amplifier. And I can switch right back here using a headbone. And uh, so... If this happens to go down, I just reach up in here and hit the, oh my gosh, switch. <laughs> and it goes straight to this one. Okay, this one is a spare in case both of those go. Or if we have a guest, we can use this right here. Um, a while back, Steve Lukather came and played with us, which was very cool. And so we use this for Steve and another. I've got two more 412 cabinets in the truck, so we pulled one of those off for him. Marshall here is for clean, oddly enough, a Marshall for clean. <laughs> right. Who knew? Who sure knew? <laughs> and uh, this is a, it's a 50 watt, it's a mid 70s Marshall uh, JMP, and it just has a real punchy clean to it. Really nice sounding amp. So this amp goes directly into this 212 cabinet, and uh, this amp, uh, or this amp, these two here, go directly into the 412 cabinet here. And uh, what we do, we then use a Palmer PDI 09, which is a, a direct box, and uh, off of the speaker output of this amp, and um, that gives us uh, basically a slave out. It gives us our uh, our uh, clean, you know, amp sound, non-amplified line level. Goes into the mixer without the confetti. There we go. <laughs> and uh, goes into the mixer. And then out, uh, that feeds, uh, splits the signal, feeds my effects here. Comes back into the mixer, mix left and right. Not every day you see a Midas console in a guitar rig. Right? <laughs> then it comes out left and right into the VHT power amps. And, uh, and then the VHT then feeds the two 112s back here. So, and then we've got a spare VHT also, using the Shure Wireless. And, um, uh, for controlling the entire rig, we've got uh, the ground control here. This is my pedal board, the Tech pedal board. For the ground control here, um, and I do, I'd say, all of his patch changing. <laughs> Just about all. Okay. Okay. And, uh, Secrets uncovered. Yeah. Occasionally he'll uh, he'll he'll do some too, but uh, yes. um, anyway, on um, and then we use the amp gizmo to translate. 
the MIDI information into what this can understand to change channels. But y'all knew that. <laughs> we, did, we did know that. Yes. That's, I'm Brian happy to see that. it's still the, uh, the, the, the old school Lamp Gizmo, still in, still in use. Oh, it's oh. rocking. It's here. Yeah. I, I need to uh, do a Vanna here. Okay. Yeah. Yes. The Amp Gizmo. And I even have my Put yours on shirt stage on. Left. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Which, of course, the entire band will wear during this entire Absolutely. Oh, well, concert. come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come yeah. on. Of course and they will. every concert. And then. Forever okay. after. And then we have, uh, come out here and I'll show you Joe Don's pedal board on stage. Right on. This is my on stage for it. All right. I like the lights. Basically, we've got uh, the same, uh, you know, the same uh, ground control pro. This is the amp switcher that switches between the, the Marshall and the Wagner. And then mm -hmm. he's got a chorus. And actually, the chorus is the only pedal, the chorus and the volume pedal are the only two pedals he uses on here. Sometimes he'll hit the wah, but everything else... It is kind of basically I take care of over there on my board. So Excellent. There you go. That's it. And uh, it's not it. No, it's not it. Oh. Come on over here and I'll show but you wait, more. There's more. But wait, there's more. Wait. Oh, wait. All right. Okay. Okay. My speaker cabinets. Come on back. Go on over in here. there. Okay, the speaker cabinets, you can see right over here. We've got the 412 is again for the Wagner, the 212 is for the Marshall, dry. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the 112 is right here, which were built by Peter Mathers uh, to basically model the, the Thiel cabinet, like the Pacificas and all that. Uh, they have vintage 30s in them. Uh, everything has vintage 30s. The 412 also has uh, G12 H30s made by Celestian. Uh, we mic them all with a 57, but then the two dry cabinets, the clean and dirty, we use, right here, we use the Royer 121 ribbon mics, which I've never seen used on a live rig, except for now, and it's amazing. So we blend the, the signals together, and there you go. That gives the root sound, and then the wet gives the, the depth and the wrap around. But being able to, to separate the dry sound in the mix, in the front of house, and in the monitors, really makes the, the guitar cut through and, and maintain its integrity and not get all washed out with uh, with effects. Excellent. So, there you go. That's it in a nutshell. What else you want to know? Um, when's the recession going to end? Uh, that I don't recall. Okay. I thought you knew everything. <laughs> well, I do, but I can't tell you that. Oh, okay. You know, I'll get back with you on that. Secrets. All right. <laughs> David Graff, Rascal Flats. Thank you Tech very much. extraordinaire. And, and a fine and, human being. And wait. Gear slut. Gear slut. President of Gear Sluts, unanimous. Excellent. Thank you, sir. <laughs>